Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at data residency for Google Cloud's global infrastructure. So uh, what is data residency? Well, it's the physical or geographic location of where an organization or cloud resources reside. Uh, and the reason we care about this is so that we can do uh, or have compliance boundaries. These are regulatory compliance, so they're legal requirements by a government or organization that describes where data and cloud resources are allowed to reside. So, you know, if you're working with the Canadian government, they say, we're only going to use your software as long as the data resides uh, within Canadian data centers. That is the idea behind this stuff. So when you're trying to run these kind of uh, workloads and you need to meet compliance boundaries, uh, strictly defining the data residency of the data and cloud resources uh, in GCP, you can use something called Assured workloads. So this is a feature that allows you to apply various security controls to an environment. So it's not just for data residency, but that's its primary feature. So data residency, personal data access controls based on attributes, person, uh, personnel uh, support case ownership controls based on attributes, encryption. So in order to uh, apply data residency, you're, you're going to use an organizational policy called a resource location restriction and choose the allowed region or multiple regions. Will this show up in the exam? Probably not, but uh, you know it's good to get you kind of exposed to global or organizational policies because those kind of do show up on the exam, okay?